Cultural artifacts are not indestructible. There are earthquakes and environmental threats. And the ravages of war and rampaging religious fanatics have destroyed valuable cultural objects and buildings, including parts of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The Fraunhofer IGD, a leading institute for applied research in visual computing, has developed the six-metre-long 3D cult lab. The automated 3D scanning process enables artefacts to be copied and preserved for the future. Over the last 10 years, we've seen companies such as Microsoft and Google launching major projects to digitize 2D cultural artifacts, including books and works of art. But 3D digitization involves a lot more manual effort. We want to automate that process. Sculptures, busts or tools travel on a conveyor belt through special arc scanners and are captured from all sides. Nine industrial cameras and nine LED flash systems photograph and illuminate the object from every perspective. To produce a facsimile, we need all possible combinations of light incidence and perspective, so that if we place the virtual model in a virtual illumination situation, it will react in exactly the same way as the original. In a second phase, a robotic arm scanner captures the surface structures that the arc scanner was unable to recognize. The result? More than 7,000 photos that go to make up the final 3D virtual model. The entire process only lasts 10 minutes. The virtual model is not just an exact copy of the object in terms of its form and appearance, but its surface reflects and absorbs the light in the same manner. Reflective qualities refer to a material's optical qualities. If you hold a mineral that's illuminated from the right and look at a specific point on its surface, you'll see a red shimmer. If you move the light source, it looks blue. A photo of this surface is not enough. You need every possible combination of light incidence and perspective. Scientists have also come up with a way of dealing with large statues. An automated robotic scanner that moves around the statue taking photos and creating a 3D model. In future, this equipment should enable millions of 3D artefacts from museum collections to be scanned quickly and cost-effectively and then stored in archives. The process can also be carried out on-site, and some 30 times cheaper than it was previously possible. Additional data, for example about its condition or the artist who made it, can then be linked to the finished 3D virtual model. The innovation opens up whole new research avenues for museums and researchers. And once the images are printed and disseminated, it will help banish the danger of our valuable cultural heritage being lost forever.